So this is the Baccarat H10 Pro Universal Refrigerant Leak Detector. The CFC, HCFC, and HFC. So pretty much all refrigerants. Comes with a little charger here. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. So once you turn it on, it takes about two minutes, I say, if you read the instructions for it to warm up. And you can actually feel it there. So once it gets good and hot right there, you know you're ready to start doing your leak detection. So when you read the instructions, it'll tell you the first charge, you need to do 12 hours. I had to use it with the charging cable, which you can still use it plugged in, but obviously it's way easier to use it when you don't have it plugged in. It will tell you low battery right there. So once that comes on, you better get to charging it soon. We'll let that warm up. Just have a jug of 410A refrigerant here. We're gonna slightly, slightly crack it open. Hold it, you can hear it breaking loose. It's very, very small leak. We have it on automatic right now, which I use both. I use automatic, but I've noticed with manual, you can pick up smaller, really small leaks with it on manual and really have it super sensitive. Auto is just like a medium sensitivity. As you can see, you have your leak size. I always just leave it on small. Works great for me, I always find leaks. All right, we should be good and warmed up here. Yeah, you can feel that, it's hot to the touch. So once that gets hot, you know you're ready to go. Let's see what we got. That's auto. Now I'm gonna show you what I did was on the heater adjustment, you just put a little small flat tip or thermostat screwdriver flat tip in there and you can turn up the heater adjustment. I increased the heat just slightly to make it more sensitive. But we're gonna go to manual here. Now you see the manual balance right here? That's for when you use manual. You'll see the calibration go. So see I can turn it down so low it doesn't even, it doesn't even beep or light up. You want it to be a nice slow beep like that. Crank it just a hair up. Okay, so they have to give you a little tiny jar or a little vial of refrigerant here. See, it'll you may have to keep cranking it up just a little bit on manual to get it to stay beeping, but it works very well with small leaks. Anyway, this is a small amount of refrigerant inside of this for the calibration reference. That just is where when you want to adjust it manual or you can tell that it's picking up refrigerant. See how that goes off, because that's refrigerant in there. It's got a little tiny pinhole in it, so you know it's picking it up before you even start your leak test. Get it nice and calibrated. So we got that on manual. See how manual is even picking it up above it. And I get closer. goes off like crazy you know you have your leak so there you have it that's a nice little easy demonstration that I've set up here uh, got a couple videos I'm gonna show you of this actually in the field use so we'll see you out on the field so we're out here in the field and I've located a leak in the condenser which is the outdoor unit as you can see the H10 is picking it up no problem this is the true suction line leaking from a factory solder joint and really they should have used more solder we're gonna go ahead and confirm with soap bubbles here. Spray it on the solder joint where we found with H10. We'll get a close up and you can clearly see that it is leaking from right there. So when you're doing this, you wanna move your wand around all over all joints, capillary tubes, the coil. This is after I got done with it. I had to remove the refrigerant. I globbed a bunch of solder on it, then pulled a vacuum and recharged the unit. So you can see the difference there.